Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the top 5 easiest scooter tricks that you could learn in an hour or less. These tricks are really easy to learn and they don't take too much time. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, comment, turn on post notifications, share the video, and let's get right into the video. So the first trick that we have is the bunny hop. The bunny hop is one of the most basic tricks but also one of the most important because it will help you with all the scooter tricks after the bunny hop like 180s, bry flips, and tail lips, and many more. So the first step is to practice jumping off your deck. The higher you jump, the higher your bunny hops will be, and just get used to landing back on your deck. And once you start practicing jumping off your deck, you can then practice lifting up your bars. And then, once you combine them, you will get the bunny hop. So the next trick that we have is the X up. This trick looks really cool, but it's also really easy to do. So let's get right into it. So start by putting your non-dominant hand upside down, doing a bunny hop, and then crossing your arms, bring them back, and then land it. And then putting your hand back to normal. And if this is too hard, you can also try doing a manual to X up. I would recommend starting with the manual to X up, and then moving to bunny hop if it's too hard. And another way of doing this trick is by doing half an X up, rolling, and then do another half X up. And it looks pretty cool, and that's the X up. So the next trick is the bar spin. I actually found this kind of hard to learn, I don't know why. I think it's just kind of an awkward trick for me to do. But it is a really cool trick that you can do. So I would recommend practicing this a lot. Kind of letting the bar spin around your dominant hand and then letting your non-dominant hand just kind of sit above the bars. And you can just keep practicing this over and over again. And this is another trick that you can do a small manual rather than a bunny hop and it will make it easier. So that is the bar spin. So the next trick is the 180. The 180 is a really cool and impressive trick since your whole entire body is spinning around. So the first step is to turn your bars and bunny hop so the rotation's already halfway done for you. And you turn your bars to the side and then tuck them into the side so you get enough momentum to turn around the full way. So you turn, you do your bunny hop, you tuck your bars to the side and fully spin around. The hardest part about learning how to 180 for me was riding fakey. So what you can do is kind of move your bars like this to counteract the way that you're leaning and help your balance. If you find it hard to do a 180 and then do another 180 out of it, then you can also try standing on your brake and then pivoting around the back wheel to get you out of fakie. And to do the pivot, you step on your brake and do the same tucking motion that you would use for the 180. And that is the 180. So the next trick is the tail whip. The tail whip is a really cool trick that is pretty challenging, but once you get it, it feels so good to do. So let's get into it. The first step is to put your feet more at the back of your deck and bunny hop and use your front or back foot to flick the deck. I prefer my front just because it gets that extra flick motion going. So just doing this flick with your front foot isn't enough force to get the deck fully spinning around. So what you can do is use your arms to lean the bar side to side over and over again and it will spin the deck a lot faster. And then it should look like this. So this trick is really hard to do and really challenging and you're gonna get pretty mad if you don't land it over and over again, but it's fine. Just make sure you keep practicing and practicing and practicing and don't give up on this trick because it feels so good to do once you complete it. But I might be doing a more in-depth tutorial on how to do the tail whip, so stay tuned for that. And that is the last trick for this video. And if you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.